Hi, I'm Jay Flores, the Global STEM Ambassador at Rockwell Automation and the host of the series, It's Not Magic, It's Science. I'm here today at an amusement park all by myself to give you guys a sneak peek at the science behind what makes your favorite rides possible. Stay tuned for our five part video series where we're gonna show you that it's not magic, it's science that makes your favorite rides possible. My name is Jay Flores and this isn't magic, it's science. Welcome back to It's Not Magic, It's Science, where in our last video, we took this bowling ball, brought it up to my chin, released it, and somehow knew that it wasn't gonna come back and crush me in the face. So how did I do that? Well, I knew that it wasn't magic, it's science. When you lift the ball up into this position, it has a certain amount of potential energy. When I release it, it converts into kinetic energy. But because of friction and air resistance, the ball is not able to come back to its original point and crush my teeth. So you can try this experiment at home now that you know the science behind the magic, but make sure you use a tennis ball or a ping pong ball. Let us know how the experiment goes, put some comments in this video, and remember to come back for some more It's Not Magic, It's Science. Welcome back to It's Not Magic, It's Science, where in the first couple of videos of this episode, we showed you the bowling ball experiment and then showed you the science behind what appeared to be magic. You learned about potential energy, kinetic energy, air resistance, and friction. And today, this is the exploration video, where we are gonna take that science and show you how it applies to real life scenarios like this pendulum ride. Let's check it out. So in this case, this swinging ship is a little bit too heavy for me to lift up and provide the potential energy. So what's happening is we have a motor that is spinning some tires that is giving us the energy that we need to get up high. Building up more and more energy with each swing. And then allowing that potential energy to convert into kinetic energy on the way down. Now that I'm way up here, I have a lot of potential energy. That then converts down into kinetic energy on the way down. And that's how physics is making a lot of fun. <laughs> and now how do I get back down? So this time, instead of using just air resistance, we're creating some additional friction using the tires again. And that's what allows us to slow down at a much quicker pace than we would have been able to with just air resistance and friction. And remember to come back for some more. It's not magic, it's science. 